What's going on everybody, it's Grand here and welcome to another episode of Star Wars The Fallen Order. Uh, with this funny voice I just want to say I have added some new merchandise to my shop that you can find in the description down below. I will be making a separate video on my new merchandise shop uh, along with streamer uh, elements pretty soon. And now we're gonna crack on, we're gonna continue our adventure with Carl and BD1, see what's ahead of us. But before we start, make sure you comment, like and subscribe. All the social media are in the description down below. Now, like I said, let's crack on and let's continue. Okay, enough with the jokes now. Let's crack on with the gameplay. You might be wondering, Krennic, where on earth are you and why are you wearing like different clothes? Well, let me explain. Basically, I was recording an episode. It didn't really come out really well because there was not much happening other than me just walking around trying to explore the uh, whole area i know where to go now i know exactly where to explore and the reason why i'm wearing different stuff is because one of the stuff i was recording a massive thing in the narrative happened but the video didn't go out so well and there was no way i could i could bring my save back so what i had to do is i had to play the entire game over again until i got to this point so i spent like two three hours playing a game and now we are at this point where i wanted to record so as soon as as soon as we get to the point where i finished we uh, i will restore my save so for now we're just gonna crack on with what we go are we gonna go go inside the crash site of the venator and this is where we have to go so I'm com I'm gonna completely ignore this entire part here because this was just the entire part where not much was going on. They're watching us, BD. Oh probes! Yeah, I forgot the probes are here. Oh, we need we need to look out when they turn red. Oh. you need to get the timing just right. Now we gotta stay away. We gotta stay away from them. Because once they reach low HP, they are initiating the self-destruct mode. And they can deal quite a lot of damage. Oh, oh, you're kidding me. Now we have to go all the way back. Can we go anywhere else other than here? No, we can't. Okay, we just gotta keep moving in. I can still hear them rats. What now? So we have a safe point. Imperial dig site. This is where I stopped. I don't know anything else that happens after this. It's gotta gotta try to make it to that bridge. Oh not one but two. Alright, let, let's don't engage two at the same time. Alright, that wasn't so bad. Just gotta make sure we engage one at a time because two security droids at the same time would have been quite difficult. Okay, we can acquire a new upgrade for BD1. This motor should do the trick. How does it feel? What does that give us? Power at zipline. Travel up and down ziplines. Okay. Uh, ray shield. Is there any panel we can use to disable this ray shield? We have another probe droid. But I don't think there is anything I can use to switch this ray shield off. The only thing that really comes to my head right now is make my way back up. Since we got that upgrade. We're out of close range troops. Okay, I, I'm sorry I'm not talking while the combat is happening, but I'm just uh, I'm just getting myself in the moment and I'm just like really focusing on the fights, like I love the fights in this game, nice like job. 
See, I haven't even scanned these guys because I was literally sp speed running the game. Second sister. Oh, yes. I know your name, your past, and most importantly, about Cordova. Uh oh. Tell me, where did he hide the holocron? Outstanding. I thought she's gonna be like a final boss. It's an inquisitor. We gotta be careful with the moves. Come on. Just hit me. What would Jara Kapal think of you now? Amount of force. I will destroy you. Right. Yeah, I need us then. Jesus Christ, BD, good job. You're learning. Not quite as gifted as Sears' last apprentice, but not bad. Can't even keep in count. I'm surprised she didn't tell you. Sarah was never good at keeping secrets. And do you know her so well, huh? <laughs> she was weak. Cracked in an Imperial torture chair. Surrendered the location of her naive Padawan. They would never have found me. Are you the Padawan? one? If it wasn't for her, she betrayed me. No way. Trilla. In the flesh. I won't let you manipulate me. So sure are you? When faced with a choice to protect herself or her Padawan, she chose self-interest. She'll sell you out too. Well, I can handle myself. Can you afford to take that chance? Your new master harbors great darkness. The look on her face when she saw what they had done to me, as I am now. She turned, exposing her true nature. She used the dark side. She cut herself off from the Force. Oh? How long before she cracks and betrays you too? Is that who you want beside you when you find the holocron? What would Jaro Tapal say? You have no right to mention his name. I wonder. What would he think if he could see his Padawan now? Skulking in the shadows with a betrayer. Granting her access to a legion of impressionable students. No. I won't let anyone touch them. I thought the same thing once. Okay. I was not expecting for the Inquisitor to be a Padawan of a member of our crew. Now the question I'm gonna ask myself is what is gonna be Cal's reaction once we get back onto the Mantis. Why didn't you tell me? Because she's a liar. You. How? Our comms are I jammed. communication the moment you tried to contact her. Slicing encrypted transmissions was always a pastime of hers. She taught me once. There's no technique Sarah has that I haven't perfected. <laughs> Second sister origin added to data bank. 
The only good thing is we know that the Holocron is not on Zepho but on uh, uh, Bogano. Come on, shoot. Good job, man. Let's interact. Right, what's this? Okay, some sort of gravity locks. Where do we want to go? Uh, well, we can go down this, I guess. You're not getting out of here alive. Who said that? Who's in a gunship? I haven't heard this voice before. Ah, Inquisitor Trooper. Cannot run forever. I will prevail. One more push and I should get rid of him. Oh, I haven't got any more force. One more push and I could knock him into the void. Oh, he hit me for quite a lot there. Alright, I think out of all the Inquisitor Troopers I came across so far, and I think I came across all of them, this one in particular is the most difficult one to kill. Alright, we go. I don't know what this is, but I'm assuming... While examining this sarcophagus, it's a very convenient location to dispose of nuisances. You lured me here. Was this your plan all along? Is she planning to drop me? I don't think those storm those stormtroopers know what's about to happen. Alright, we need to back off. So long, friends. Oh, the gunship. The gunship. No! Another lesson. I think it's a pull. Everywhere it is within me, it surrounds me. Just so. It connects you. There will be times when emotion, pain, or exhaustion trick you. You will feel cut off, isolated. This is an illusion. Your lightsaber lies there, out of reach. But you remain connected through the Force. Feel that energy around you, and summon your weapon. So we can pull a lightsaber. Let's try it. Forces within you, around you, connecting you to your weapon. Hold on, guys. I want. I want to try something. Correct. Force is with me. It connects us. Yeah, pull objects and enemies with the force. And now I think we can pull on a rope. Yes, we can. Okay, so... Okay, in this episode, we've done quite a lot. We came across the Inquisitor, the BD-1 saved our life, and now we unlocked the new pull ability. So now I think it's a good time to finish. 
The next episode will be out on Thursday. So for now, guys, it's been a good one. All the social media are in the description down below. I'm Krennic and may the force be with you.